Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. This is to let you know there's a new version of the multi-protocol module firmware and it's version 1.3.2.77 and it's available now. So let's uh, take a look at the computer and see what the changes are. And here we go, multi-protocol version 1.3.2.77. And the first one we're going to look at is the DSM, DSMR. They've added a new protocol for surface receivers and only 22 IDs available and they've added telemetry. Pelican, they've added a new protocol, SCX24 and a few transmitter adjustments, for different transmitters by the looks of it. OMP protocol, it uh, now supports telemetry with the CC2500 chip. That's the one that's in the Radio Master TX12. And if the, if the component is installed, then it will be installed with including telemetry. Okay. Uh, then we go on to the MT99XX Stroke Dragon, added telemetry A1 in battery voltage and a few other adjustments. DSM added a table detailing the different RX output ranges. The EO168 protocol separated protocol from EO1X due to the different structure. And I say a lot of these things, I, you know, I wouldn't even know what they are, but I just want to go through them with you. And if you're using this protocol, you may find, obviously find it useful. High tech fixed RF tuning and in the FHSS fixed protocol after introduction of sub protocol hype and Devo They've fixed the GPS year, which always sounds important. This is probably one of the most important ones for all of us is the FreeSky X2. They've updated the bind to work with more new uh, receivers code. And cable, protocol optimized, uh, 1.5 kilobytes saved. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, thanks, Mike. We thank everyone who works on all of this stuff for us for absolutely nothing. Um, and then we've got the multi-core, the uh, XN297 emulation layer change so there's done some adjustments and these all relate to the CC2500 chip that's in our ReadyMOS TX12 and there we go. There are links in the description below to where you get the firmware and also there's a link to a video where I show you how to update your multi-protocol module in your radio. If you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up and if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.